We just made this desk for our daughter. And we just made this desk for our other daughter. And we made them both for under $100 in an afternoon. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, builder, make it? We do too. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're making two student desks, like super cheap, super easy, super simple. I'm trying to get in and out as easy as possible. <laughs> so most of you probably know that we made our desk a couple of months ago, and we received some comments around uh, the price of the desk, it was $55 when we built it, but yeah. the price of lumber with COVID has skyrocketed. Our girls have transitioned to virtual school and they'll be in virtual school all year this year, so they now need desks. We started the year with a fold-up table and another fold-up like side table thing uh, because one has a little bit of room and one has a little more room. And they're two different girls. Oh, two different styles. Yes, one's a pack rat and one is a minimalist. I mean, she has nothing in her room. She doesn't want anything in her room. So, so one, wants, one wants storage and the other one wants a slat of wood she can put her laptop on. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. So these are two easy desks. Anyone can build them and minimal tools and quick and easy. Quick and easy, I mean, easy desk one step one we're gonna gather all of our materials we need a 20 by 48 inch project board four crates some paints some glue some brad nails and i think that's it and you can use screws if you don't have a brad nailer yeah you can use screws or a little hammer and tiny tiny some tiny screws nails i mean nails Desk one, step two. Ooh, now we paint. So painting is the biggest part of this desk build yeah. because there's not so much building, it's more assembling in this project. Uh, so for hers, for the youngest one, this is the 13 year old, she just turned 13 in August. So she's the pack rat, we always call her. Our um, ferret. Yeah, She's our ferret. A ferret. Yeah. <laughs> She's got hidey holes, everything like a ferret. If something's missing, <laughs> ask her for it. She'll find it and it'll be in her room. Yeah. So uh, she definitely needs a place to, but she's also the most organized. Yes, her room is clean. <laughs> just stuff stowed away everywhere. So I know for a cheap desk, I'm not building drawers for this quick build. Um, she is gonna need a place to put her books and some supplies. So I think these crates will do it. We're gonna stack two on, e on top of each other. And to give it some interest and a little bit of life, instead of painting it, yeah, instead of painting it the same color, all over. I'm going to do the outside in gray and the inside in pink. We're going to use our country chic paints and the outside will be in this pebble beach Ooh. and the inside, oops, the inside is going to be in this vintage cupcake. Her colors in her room are gray, white, and pink. So this might not be everyone's favorite color scheme, but I think she's going to love it. Yeah. So pink and gray and then uh, the top will be in white. And we're gonna add, oh, what the great thing is, we haven't had an opportunity to use this yet and I'm really looking forward to it. This is Country Chic's tough coat. Ooh, tough coat. It's a tough top coat. <laughs> <laughs> so once the paint goes on, we're gonna add this tough coat on top and hopefully that'll help keep this, um, um, what, more, more maintenance free? What's the word I'm looking for? A little more durable? Resilient. Yeah, yeah. Durable, durable, resilient. Yes. Resilient, yeah. More adjectives that describe tough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I didn't say what I was going to do the top in. Oh. I think I'm going to do the top in simplicity. So we, we've used a lot of the crinoline in white. So now I'm going to show you another version of white that they have. I haven't tried it yet. I have taken the top off, but I haven't tried it yet. Simplicity. Simplicity. I hope it goes on just as easy. <laughs> All right, I've done my first coat of paint on this crate and I'm not loving it. 
not. From there, like I'm looking in the viewer over there and it looks good from a really far distance and really well, tiny. Maybe we have to squint at it all the time. But up close here, this is, I don't really like this baby pink. So I think. Well, will Grace like the baby pink? Well, maybe, probably. But I want this finished project to look nice, so I may have to just paint the whole thing gray. And what I would like to do, and I saw it on a Country Chic's website, uh, is like, um, what is it? Like sticky paper? So wallpaper with the adhesive wallpaper, the outside with a nice pattern. And then maybe just end up leaving the inside gray because I don't know if I'm loving the two-tone thing. <laughs> As I probably mentioned as I was painting here, I am not loving the pink on the inside of this. Um, like I said, it looks good from over there, but uh, up close, it's it's not not what I want. Looks like a rotten watermelon, kind of like moldy on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just isn't the, the look I was going for. So I told Garrett what I wanted and he found us a solution. I got this like contact paper, this shelf lining, adhesive shelf lining from uh, oh, the Pioneer Woman. I figured she's got to know what she's talking about. That's what he <laughs> said. She's pretty popular. I figured, like, I felt like she knew what she was talking about. <laughs> she knew what she was talking about. So you picked this up at Walmart. It was actually... It was like five bucks. Yeah, not too bad. So we are going to try this idea. I saw this actually on Country Chic's website. Uh, they did something similar with the crate, so I'm going to uh, replicate that idea. And let's, let's see how it goes. All right. All right, so how are we gonna, we were just talking about how we might approach this. What's the plan? I'd say we cut it like a quarter inch a little longer, slide it in, lay it down, and then cut out the slats. Okay. I'm I think. not sure I know what that means. All right, we'll, we'll see. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah. Back for some top coat. It's going to be a desk. So it needs to be durable. It's gonna get worked on. Yeah, definitely. It is going to take a beating, I'm sure. Oh yeah. So this is Country Chic's Tough Coat. Uh, typically when you create a piece of furniture and you use chalk paint, you would add a coat of wax on top, which you could do here, but this is just a little bit more durable. And so I think given that this is going to be a desktop, I think this is what we should use. Yeah. So let's see what we've got here. Ooh. All right, it's got to do both desktops, so don't get crazy. All right. Desk one, step three. Now we're gonna glue it and brad nail it together. Like um, we're gonna make the bottom one point out and the top one point in standing up. Like, are you wrestling with that thing? Well, I'm just trying to decide which of that other side's rough. Some of these are kind of rough and I wanted it to be rough side down. Rough side down. Rough side down. All right, now I'm just gonna hit him with a three quarter inch brad. The nail, not the guy. All 
Now I'm gonna hit it with a one and a quarter inch brad. I'm gonna go through the tops to the top. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> All right, let's go put it up in the room. We'll carry it upside down for now. Desk number two, a step one. We're gonna gather all of our materials. For this one, we needed a project board again, but we had the home improvement shop. That's right, shop hay. <laughs> Make our cut for us, because it was a little longer and I didn't feel like doing it at home. You get one free cut. I used it. We cut it down to 35 inches because that's the amount of space we have in this daughter's room. We also needed one one by five. I put it underneath this board so I can't show you. And then four of these cheap table legs, 29 inches. That's it. And then uh, some glue, some paint, some screws, usual suspects. <laughs> A desk two, step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. Like I said, I tagged out on this long board, this big one, had my local uh, hardware shop hay make my cut for me. And my one by five, I need to make two 28 inch cuts and two 13 inch cuts. I already measured it out. And I'm gonna make both of those cuts, or is that all of those cuts? With my pocket saw. It's a very pocket saw day. Well, I guess it's not. What is this, four cuts on the day total? Not too bad, not too shabby. That's how I like it. We got rid of the pocket saw and found myself a pocket hole jig. And we're gonna throw pocket holes in the backs of all these. Pocket hole is like a sideways hole. Comes in at an angle, kind of hides the screw. So that's what we're gonna do to all of these. We're gonna hide all of our screws. Now you could do this without a pocket hole jig. Well, you can't make a pocket hole, but you can put it together without a pocket hole jig. You're just gonna have to drill through the, the legs. Desk two, step three. Now we paint again. It's a lot of painting. I told you that was the biggest part of this whole project. Mm. So for this one, this one is 15 years old and she's my minimalist. So she wanted everything white and I told her no. We needed a pop of color. <laughs> so her second favorite color, I guess, was a teal color. So we are gonna use Bliss, this uh, country chic chalk paint in Bliss, and then the top, I agreed to have the top in white, and we're gonna use the Simplicity. Uh -huh. So we're gonna paint the ribbon board and the legs in Bliss and just the top in white. Mm, back to painting. <laughs> again with the tough coat again it's a desk it's gonna be used heavily hopefully I hope I hope it gets used heavily right it better get used heavily <laughs> desk two step four and now we assemble we're gonna use all these little ribbon boards I remember the name oh first we got to take the uh, screws out of the, the steps. Steps. The legs. Okay, back at it. Just 
gonna lay it out. There's a rounded part that goes out. Remember our pocket holes? We're gonna point those towards this tabletop because we're gonna screw on our tabletop. We're just using these one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Put in the pocket holes. Made by the Craig Jig, not the pocket saw. This I did? Yep. Or just screw it down? Uh, glue it and screw it. Ow. Ah, there you go. See, that brought that leg down. There you go. Desk number two. All right, last step of this teen work area makeover. We're gonna give them some pegboard. There's a metal pegboard so they can use magnets and stuff too. But we're gonna spray paint them. So they're looking pretty industrial in black, although I'm pretty sure you could do some really cool things with them. Yeah. But I think we're gonna do one of them in teal and one of them in pink still since she wants the pink. So. <laughs> So I'll take them out and spray them and then we'll hang them up. They look pretty easy. think two student desks little uh, workspace makeover just took an afternoon it was pretty easy just how I like them we used some great paint colors I finally got the look I was going for with this one she's got her storage we faced these to the inside so she could kind of we could hide some of the junk on the outside remember she's a pack rat so they're gonna be stuffed with stuff <laughs> so we didn't want them facing outwards that's why they're facing in and the one thing I didn't show, we added the tough coat on the top of this desk, the teal desk, but I didn't show that we clear waxed the legs. So you'll want to do that on top of your chalk paint. We have not waxed our legs yet. <laughs> I have never waxed my legs. That's a whole different story <laughs> for another day. <laughs> All right, look what time it is. It's about that time. So we got to go. So we'll see you guys next weekend where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Did I just say weekend? Yeah. Well, I just let him in on a little secret. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I guess I could balance this desk. Mm. Oh, it's a little heavier than I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs>